Yo, what is up guys? Kansas Marvel here, back at it again with another LEGO DC Super Villains video. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing another uh, Spider-Man Far From Home custom character. Uh, for today's custom, I decided to make uh, Peter Parker, uh, just in his regular, you know, clothes, not in, in his spider suit. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty good. I did take some, I did take some inspiration from the official uh, LEGO minifigure of uh, Peter Parker uh, from the Spider-Man Far From Home uh, LEGO sets and stuff. So, and I think it turned out pretty good, um, you know, I do plan on making his friend also a Ned, I think, yeah, Ned, Ned, I'm not sure what his last name is, I'm not sure if he's like Nelson or something like that, but yeah, I do, I do want to make him, I'm not sure if I'm going to be making him, but I probably will, just because I already made MJ, uh, I'm making Peter Parker, and I'm, I, you know, just to finish out the whole, you know, the whole gang, I guess, well, it's not the whole gang, because he's still got Flash and stuff, but, uh, yeah, these are the main characters, anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys, on this custom. Alright, so for Peter Parker's head, um, you want to go over to head, and you want to go just to the generic ones, and use custom head number 16. Uh, then you want to go over to the facial decal color, and go ahead and make it a dark brown color. Uh, next, you want to go over to the hair, and for the hair, you want to go down, all the way down to a wavy, and a wavy number 4, and just go ahead and make it the same color as his eyebrows, so the same dark brown. So I am making the Tom Holland Peter Parker. You know, uh, it's not going to be the Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield or comic book Peter Parker. Uh, I'm trying to make him look like the Tom Holland one. Alright guys, so on to the body. So for the body, uh, I actually, it was kind of hard to find a good body piece for this custom. Because I was trying to look for a body piece that looked like he had a jacket and a shirt underneath. Kind of like what I did with MJ. So um, there's two body pieces that I think work best with this one. Uh, the first one is... Uh, let's see, okay, it's going to be down here. I think it's the Joker henchman one. And I think this, this uh, piece actually looks really, really good. But the only problem with it is that uh, once you turn it, you know, around, it has like the big old Joker face, which is really annoying. I do wish you could uh, take it off. Okay, I don't even know where it's at. Oh my gosh, I hate it when this happens. Okay, it's over here. Alright, so you want to go ahead and make it a dark gray color. And I think this one looks really good. The only problem with it is, again, you turn around and it has the Joker's face, which is really annoying. I do wish you could take that off, but unfortunately you can't. So the one that I went with uh, was actually Red Hood's. And made it the same uh, dark gray color. And I actually like this one because even though he has the red bat logo, it doesn't look like a bat. Well, it does look like a bat, but not too much if you don't look at it, you know, too closely. And it kind of looks like he has his, you know, spider suit underneath, which I think looks pretty cool. I don't know. Once the whole, like, design comes together, I think it looks really good. All right, guys. So for the hands, you want to go ahead and make it just his regular <laughs> skin color. And for the arms, you want to go all the way up to blank and go ahead and make the same color as his uh, torso piece. So, okay, I don't know why his uh, right arm has that. What the heck? Okay, uh, that was that was weird. That was that was kind of annoying. All right, guys. So for the hips, um, for the hips, I you could go with blank if you want to, but I just went with arsenals just because they add a little bit more detail to the hips. And I went ahead and made them uh this uh, really dark dark blue uh like blue dark blue um color because that's the color of his like jeans. He's wearing a really dark blue color. And that's the color of his legs in the in the official minifigure of Peter Parker. Alright, so for the legs, you want to go over to blank and go ahead and make them dark blue as well. And that's pretty much it for the overall design of our Peter Parker. Like I said, it's not the best, but I think it did turn out pretty good. I actually do like the way he looks. I think he looks pretty good. Uh, pretty accurate. Uh, for the effects, I just went ahead and made them red for both the jump slam and the, uh, the hit impact. Just, you know, just so you could, you know, red, Spider-Man's red and stuff. You know, kind of just to mash it up. Alright guys, so for the personality, uh, for the health icon, you want to go ahead and make it red. For the health type, make sure it's standard. And for the voice, make sure he has male voice. Target reticle, make sure... I think uh, the best one uh, that works the best for this Peter Parker is definitely Mercy Graves. Uh, speed, normal, and for the animation style. Uh, you could go with um, cool if you wanted to, but I just like the way normal looks better for Peter Parker. I don't know. Uh, for the weapons, I didn't bother giving him any weapons. Just because I think this custom looks much better without any weapons. And Peter Parker doesn't really use any weapons. I guess if, like, if they had like a camera uh, object weapon thing, then I guess you could have gone with that. But unfortunately, they don't. So yeah, just leaving him without any weapons, I think, is the best option in my opinion. Alright, so moving on to the abilities. So for triangle, uh, you want to leave that off. For X, I went ahead and gave him a double jump. And I went ahead and gave him a start in the three. Uh, for hold X, I went ahead and gave, her hyper, gave him hyper jump. Uh, for tap square, I went ahead and uh, left it blank. For hold, I went ahead and gave him uh, lunge. I think I went with lunge style number two. Yeah. Alright, so now on to circle. 
So for a tap circle, I went ahead and gave him bolts. I went ahead and gave him electric bolts, kind of to make it look like he's shooting his electric webs. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I went with uh, both hands, uh, both hands targeting. Like I said, I uh, gave him electric bolts, so make sure they're electric. And for the bolt color, I went ahead and just made it white. And then for the style, uh, I think it's almost style number four. Yeah. All right. So for hold circle, I went ahead and left it blank. No, I didn't bother with that. Uh, so now on his skills. So for skills, I, I gave him stealth, illum illumination, tracking, uh, smash wall, super strength, wall climbing, acrobat, technology, and grapple. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for our custom uh, Peter Parker. Uh, excuse me, guys. Uh, now all I've got to do is take him out to the Metropolis Hub World and showcase him around for a bit. All right. So yeah, I, th I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Uh, the torso, I wish I could find a better piece. But this one really doesn't bother me too much. I really like the, the red that he shows underneath the jacket. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a spider suit, somewhat, I guess. Uh, not really, but I don't know. I like the way it looks. So yeah, guys, here he is. Our custom Peter Parker in LEGO DC Super Villains. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Uh, like I said, I probably will be making more... Um, more customs of like uh, Ned Nelson, I think that's his name, uh, Flash uh, Thompson, and maybe some other ones. I probably won't be doing Nick Fury though because, you know, Nick Fury is pre 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 like more or less, he's pretty much the same, uh, like the outfit is pretty much the same um, from like uh, the Avengers to, uh, I mean it's different obviously, but it, it looks the same. He's always wearing black and stuff, so there's not really, there's no, no, no point in really making another Nick Fury custom. And besides, I think I made I made quite a few uh, Spider-Man Far From Home customs, so I think uh, you know, I'm, I think there's not really too much more to make. I think I've made all of them, all, all the ones that I can make anyway. And I still haven't seen the movie, <laughs> which is unfortunate, uh, because I'm really trying, I'm like avoiding all the videos on Spider-Man because I don't want anything to get spoiled. And I'm not sure, you know, when I'm gonna watch it, just because, like I said before, I'm in Mexico, so uh, you know, I, I don't even know. Uh, if we're gonna go to the movies here, or if we're gonna wait till we go till we get till we get back to the USA, and even if we wait till we get back, I don't know if the, if the movie's still gonna be in theaters, you know. So it just depends. I really hope we can't watch it though, because I really, really, I really, really, really want to watch it so bad. Uh. All right, guys. So I think we're gonna go ahead and end, end it there. Let me go ahead and take this car and. Head on over to the bridge. I'm gonna end this video in front of the uh, Kansas state line. <laughs> what the heck? Why does it flip like that? That's weird. I thought it was just go like in a straight, straight line. All right, guys. So that was the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it and like this custom. Um, I don't know. I'm sure how many more Spider-Man Far From Home customs I'm gonna be making because I know I know in previous videos I've said that this was gonna be my last or this one was gonna be my last, and I made like three more. So yeah, I don't know if I, how many more I'm gonna make, but just stay tuned for more customs coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, have a great rest of the day, guys. Take care. Peace.